Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel, Dream It, Make It. Today, we are looking at the Oklahoma Joe Bronco and how to set that up to grill. All right, so if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and let's go ahead and look at this grill. All right, if you're new to the Oklahoma Joe Bronco, this thing is an absolute beast. I love this smoker. And the way it works is, is you have this intake tube right here, and it runs all the way down underneath the drum smoker, and the air enters there, and then of course funnels up inside the drum, and out the smokestack right here. All right, so when this thing is set up to smoke, of course you've got your grill grate on top. Ahead, set that off to the side. You then have your deflector. Go ahead and pull that out. All right, and after that deflector's out, then you need to pull your charcoal pan out and ignore all of the ash because I've just videoed this entire thing, forgot to hit record and that ash just kind of blows all over the place. So then you pull out that charcoal pan, and then you pull out your ash pan. All right, once the ash pan is out, that is where the air comes through. Right down there, comes down that tube on the side of it, up through that, and then it comes up through the smoker, and then it goes out that stack on the lid. All right, so to get it set up as a grill, we are going to put in the diffuser plate first. And then after the diffuser plate, you are going to put in your ash pan. All right, so you do not want to forget that ash pan on top of the diffuser plate. I don't know if you noticed, but it was a little hard for me to get my diffuser plate to set on there. And that's because I made the mistake one time not putting that ash pan on the diffuser plate. I was in a hurry, it was an accident, I knew better, but it happened. And now my diffuser plate is warped. And because it's warped, it doesn't sit in there very well. It's very difficult to get it to sit like it's supposed to. So make sure you put the ash pan on top of the diffuser plate. Do not set your coals directly on that diffuser plate. All right, then after the ash pan, you drop your charcoal in there. Just like that. And then you put your grill grate on. Then you are all set up to grill. Okay, so for grilling, Typically, I do not use briquettes. I always use lump charcoal when I grill. So that's what I'm using here. All right, so what I do is I go ahead and light up some tumbleweeds. Sometimes I use a chimney. Sometimes I do not use a chimney. I guess it just kind of depends on the mood I'm in. But for this video, just showing exactly how I do everything, only using the Bronco, no extras, just the Bronco. Something else to do is if you save your butcher paper from briskets and ribs or whatever you use on your butcher paper, you can use that below down in that ash pan to get the charcoals lit up. And that works really, really well. All right, so I got those going. I'm gonna get the charcoal nice and close. And we're gonna go ahead and let that get all lit up. And then it's time to grill. We are making cookies and, and now Daddy's making some steak. Bye.
All right, so typically I would let all of these coals completely ash over. Um, I did go ahead and throw in a few pieces of pecan chunks in there, but we have rain. If you didn't hear that thunder on the way, like a big, big bunches of rain coming. So we got to get the steak on. Well, the rain has come and gone, and now I'm just out here enjoying the night by the fire. It is super nice out here tonight. The rain was wonderful. We desperately need it around here. Not only did the rain come and go, so did the steaks. We ate those really quick. They were super good. And the Bronco, is so versatile i love 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 the bronco being able to smoke on it and then just change a few things around and then you're able to grill it's just it's just awesome it's my favorite smoker that i have and if you're looking for a smoker and you don't know what to choose i suggest a drum smoker they're awesome um, i really suggest the oklahoma joe bronco it's it's a beast i love it um, the only regret I have is not getting the Pro, and that's just because it has a few more inches of space on it. That's the only regret I have about this smoker. It's awesome. Anyways, if you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next cook.